calling it the Street Beast. Um, it's based on the, the sculptures by Theo Janssen, is the Dutch kinetic sculptor. Um, and basically a bunch of people uh, who work and kind of like hang around at Sprout uh, watch the DVD of his collected works. And I think the thing he's most famous for is the Strand Beast, which are um, the sculptures we got the, the leg mechanisms for off of that. And so we, ours is the Street Beast because it's going to be on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And so this is the, the Honk Festival. Yep. And there's a parade happening right here. And you have built this at Sprout. Yay, Ben and Puppet! And so you built it at Sprout with a whole bunch of people working afternoons, evenings. Uh, I think a pretty big mix. Um, there were a few people who were like really dedicated to like making sure the design happened and organizing people and stuff and then that meant that some people could just come in in the afternoon and say hey I have two hours what do you want me to do and we said well could you cut 60 of this piece of wood that'd be great um, so I think around like somewhere between 40 and 50 people were involved in some capacity okay. so just we drilled we took a one in one in one eight uh, drill spade bit uh, sanded it down so it was 1 in the 16th because it's not a standard size and so it's just like very very slightly uh, bigger than the PVC and things basically free rotate. We were worried about friction being an issue but it hasn't really okay. been a problem. And you made a, uh, some smaller models of it too, right? Yeah, we made a little Lego model. We made um, a smaller version of this that was just made out of plywood pieces um, and then we did Another version that was a little shorter than this and different proportions, and that had a kind of a wacky walking movement. Uh -huh. Yeah, so after we built it the first time, there were a number of reasons why it wasn't load bearing enough to walk on its own. Okay. Um, so the legs are too narrow and the, the joints are actually too loose, like they give too much this way. Okay. Um, and so then about four or five days ago, we went into wheel assembly mode. Um, and so basically, we They're used for all their like commercially available components. Um, and then we tried it with a much smaller sprocket, but even like the weight of a person couldn't turn them. Yeah. And so we had this um, Eric designed the, the gear to fit the chain and we water jetted it and then ground it down and whatever. And now we have a giant sprocket. So it's a custom design wheel. Yeah. You know, you can give. Or a sprocket, yeah. Sprocket, yeah. And, uh, I don't think people usually make two foot. Probably they, not. Yeah, they probably come up with better solutions. <laughs> and the and uh, the drive shaft is also custom made, correct? Yep. Uh, Eric also welded that. Um, it's basically like well, uh, pieces of hollow tubular rod and square ones, um, and the so that in order to get the legs to be in a phase where that's stable, they're placed at 120 degrees. Okay. On a on each shaft. Something that's actually kind of funny is because we're powering it by a wheel, the legs are actually going to be walking backwards through the whole okay. leg. It's like moonwalking. Uh -huh. But we didn't have time to develop a mechanism yeah. that made them go forward. So. Neat. <laughs> Great. And so it'll it'll be a number of people pushing with four people or more or. I think we'll have about five people, and most of them. I think with three people we could push it, maybe even two, except that it's very wide, um, and it's mainly just steering and making sure it doesn't hit cars and things. So how has it been to shepherd this project into existence? Um, it's been. Like, I've really enjoyed it. Like I, people get really excited about it. And, Feel like you feel the the momentum and the energy pick up a lot when like the first time we actually lifted the frame up off the ground and attached the legs it was like all of a sudden we had days of like a really like kind of optimistic working and then it's sort of like oh it's not gonna walk and then you know when the wheels first worked and we like took it around the block it was like really exciting so it's been really good in that way well great and so in a little bit um, your spot in the parade will open and Playing with strand beast. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so this is a street beast, and the organization is Sprout. Yep. Great. Where can people find out more about your project? And you can find out more at the Sprouts.org. Um, and there's uh, just information about other projects we're working on, events that we're running. Um, they're basically all local to Somerville and Cambridge, this area. Yeah. So. All right.
Well, thank you very much, Annalyn. Yeah.